Hey everyone, this is Dave coming at you with another fun tutorial. And today we're going to talk about taking your own model or a model from Daz into Clip Studio Paint to use as a reference while you're drawing or painting or just doing a design of some kind. So here we've got a model in Daz Studio. And one thing you want to keep track of is how straight the T-pose is, how, how well aligned these arms are. We're going to be adding a skeleton through Mixamo and then later using Clip Studio Paint's modeler package or Clip Studio's modeler package to put uh, their default skeleton in there. And this will become important at that point. So make sure you've got a nice strong T-pose here. And what we're going to do is export this as an OBJ. And we're going to call it Olympia here. And we want to set Maya and then we're going to change the size to 1% and we don't want to write groups and we do want to collect the maps which will put all of the texture maps into a folder and then this should say XYZ here. So we'll go ahead and click on accept and that should output and then what we want to do is we want to pull this into Blender and we're going to make a format that Mixamo is going to be happy with. So we wend our way to where this stuff is and this is the OBJ that we wrote out from Daz. We're going to go ahead and import that, which will take a moment. Or two. <laughs> okay, cool. And then here we are in here we are in Blender. It took a moment for the textures to load up, and we effectively have our model from Daz. The eyes look a little bit funny, but don't worry too much about that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write this back out as an FBX so that we can package it all up into one file that Mixamo is going to be happy with. And we're just going to call this Olympia Tutorial. And we want to make sure that our path is set to copy. And we click on this little icon here, which is the embed icon, which will embed all of the textures into this FBX and we'll click on export and we're going to go ahead and find the FBX that we wrote and we're going to drag it into here and this will actually take a moment to both upload and process. Okay so that uploaded and processed and now we're going to go through the auto rigger. So it's showing us our T-pose which we so carefully made and then what we're going to do is we're going to place a couple markers on the model and this will allow the automated rigging software to analyze the geometry and find all the places where, oops, find all the places where it should be putting uh, the bones and go ahead and take a moment and make sure that these are placed relatively accurately. And once we do this, we click on next. And it's actually going to take a couple minutes to do the auto rigging. It can take up to two minutes according to the prompt. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll be back in a sec when it's done. Okay, we're back. It has finished auto rigging. And the first thing you'll immediately notice is that it did a fantastic job on the rigging. Their auto rigger is super amazing for a free tool. So we're gonna go ahead and click on next, and then next, and then download. And we wanna grab the T-pose here, which is gonna be the default. So we click on download, and it's gonna do some data processing, and then provide us an FBX with this um, really nice simplified skeleton that we'll be able to pull into uh, the modeler package. So we're going to go ahead and grab this file and I'm going to actually cut it out of its home here and put it in from Mixamo Olympia tutorial. We'll go ahead and paste this in here. Cool. And then we want to go to modeler where we're going to make a new 3D character. So we click on the new icon. It's defaulting to create 3D character. And then it's a little bit weird, but we want to come over here and click on body. And then we want to come down here and click on add from file. Yeah, so this is the correct thingy bob. So we're going to go ahead and pull in that FBX. This will take a moment to load. And what I'm going to actually pause to do first is make a screenshot actually, because this is going to show up in our material library. And we're going to provide some imagery right here. And actually that name is fine. Cool. So one thing you will notice, actually we have to click on use as complete character as part of their process. One thing you'll notice is this little bone icon down here, which has performed standard bone mapping. And this will translate from Mixamo's bone mapping to Clip Studio Paints. 
So we're in this setup thing. They give you the slider to adjust the arms. Our arms are actually pretty much in this up position. One thing I found is that if you rock these down a little bit, it tends to make the matchup with most characters a little bit better. That you know maybe is a bug they're working on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on next, and then they want you to identify the head, and then the right arm, and then the left arm, and then a leg, and then another leg. And then pretty much they're done. So they give you a couple extreme poses that you can go through to verify that everything's looking okay. And everything is in fact looking okay. So pretty nice job there. So go ahead and click on complete. And this will take another moment. And then we have our character and we're gonna make one more screenshot. We're gonna click on sketch because this will actually be part of the preview data again. Click here, do complete. We're gonna type in a name, Olympia. Okay, and now we actually wanna save this out to where we can use an Eclipse Studio Paint and that's called registering a material. That's their nomenclature. So we click on register new material. I'm gonna call this Olympia 8 and we're gonna put it in 3D characters. And then we're gonna go ahead and give it some tags so we can search for it, maybe like 3D. This is pretty high poly, so we might wanna say that as well, but we'll just, uh, we'll use that for now. We'll click on okay. And this is now saving it to the database, which will actually take a moment. So we will pause the video. Okay, and then your material data doesn't follow you from computer to computer or device to device. So another thing you might wanna do is just save the sort of native file so that if you do wind up using another computer, you can actually pull this file in and have it available as a material. So we're saving that and that will again take a moment. Okay, that's saved. And of course, these are pretty big files. You may want to do some poly reduction or decimation. That's actually something we could have done in Blender while, there, while we were there. I'll save that as an exercise for the viewer next time. Anyway, so now we're ready to go into Clip Studio Paint. And let's say you're working on some illustration and you're like, wow, you know, I need to have that character in here. That'd be awesome. So you can come down to 3D and then character. And then this is our file. And you can really just click and drag and drop this right into your layer stack and you will have a character that shows up. And what's cool is it is a full 3D character. And then what's really neat is the application actually has a bunch of poses that are built in so we can go through and, you know, actually just click on one of these and drag it in. And then, you know, you immediately have like a compelling pose to start your drawing from. And like I said, they've got a variety here. And then not only can you use their built-in poses, but when you made the round trip through Modeler, um, it actually installed like kind of a full IK system. So you've got uh, these, these markers and uh, you know these things you can drag on, and uh, you can really, you can really, you know, use a pretty powerful and flexible system to either you know drag on a limb directly, or you can grab, oh, you can grab one of these uh, dot markers, and for instance, you can alter where the character's looking just by dragging this around. And you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice system that they have set up. So. Anyway, I will leave you with that and uh, happy ZBrushing and drawing and I will catch you next time. All right, thank you very much. And if you like this video, like and subscribe.